this video, I'm going to show you how to track an entire funnel using ClickMagic's entry link setting. Now, with a simple funnel, you normally only have one tracking link that points to the first page of your funnel, and that's it. Then when your tracking pixels or postback URLs fire, all of the conversions are attributed to that one tracking link. But what if you had a more complicated funnel, like the one in this diagram? Maybe you have an opt-in page where you capture the visitor's email address. Then you go to a sales video, you go to a checkout page, and you go to a thank you page. And you might have a series of email messages that each message contains a tracking link back to your sales video page. And also you might have a series of different entry links. So you might have a couple of different pay-per-click ads. You might have a series of YouTube videos, all of which point to your opt-in page. So the question comes down to how can you have all of these different tracking links point into your funnel and have it all tracked properly? And that's what the entry link and attribute settings help you do. So to set this up is actually quite simple, but you do have to understand a few things. First of all, to track an entire funnel, everything that you see here has to be in its own ClickMagic group. So that's the first thing we're going to have is this is a funnel to Antarctic snow water, which is a type of drinking water. So we'll have this in that group. And then we'll have a subgroup that contains all of the entry links, and we're going to call that subgroup entry links dash ASW. ASW is short for Antarctic snow water. And then the email messages, all of these tracking links for it to work properly must have the word email in their friendly name. So that's the overview, and I'm going to go ahead and show you this and click magic in just a second. So again, the overview is we need to have the entire setup in its own ClickMagic group. We need to have the entry links in a subgroup of that. And we need to have the email messages all have the word email somewhere in the name of their links. So those are the three key parts. So let me go into ClickMagic here and show you how to set this up. So here we go. So first of all, I already have my Antarctic snow water group set up. Now, if you don't know how to set up a group, you can simply click on this question mark icon here and it'll take you to the group manager. All you need to do is click create new groups, enter a name right here and create the group. So that's all you need to do there. And I'm going to show you how to do that with the subgroup in just a second. So here is our first link that you need to create. You need to create a link that leads into the very first part of your funnel. In this case, it's an opt-in page. And I'm going to encourage you to call that link total stats dash and then something related to your funnel. In this case, it's ASW for Antarctic Snow Water. And I simply have this going to the opt-in page for my funnel. Now, this is a normal tracking link, but because this is a special entry link setup, we need to make one advanced setting. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click Advanced Settings. And right here where it says Entry Link, we're going to choose Yes. Now, this is the only link in the entire setup where we're going to do this. We're going to set this as an entry link for this funnel. And then when we save, we'll know it's a special entry link because it will have this little funnel next to it. So that's the one thing that you want to do. And this link is going to show the total statistics for all of your links. So I will demonstrate that in just a minute. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the subgroup for this. Now, if you recall, the subgroup is going to contain all of these entry links here that we're using for our pay-per-click ads, we're using for our videos. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to create a subgroup of Antarctic snow water. So let's go into the group manager here. And we're going to create a new link subgroup. So it's already got Antarctic snow water selected. So I'm just going to call this one entry links, since that's what they are, and again a dash and something related to my funnel, ASW for Antarctic Snow Water, and I'm going to create the subgroup. So now we've created it. I'm going to go back in. I'll need to refresh so that my groups update. I'm going to choose that subgroup. We don't have any tracking links here. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create four entry links here. Add one, add two, vid one, vid two. So that's all I'm going to do here. And because we're in this special subgroup with entry links, the create new link is going to give me this menu that you see here. So you can create the entry link manually or you can just clone it. And I'm going to strongly recommend that you just clone it. So I'm going to clone it four times right here. So we have four different links now leading into our funnels, representing add one, add two, vid one, vid two. Now, just for clarity, I'm going to go in and I'm actually going to change this name here to add one, save changes. I'm going to change this one to be add two, save changes. I'm going to change this one to be vid one, save changes. And then I'm going to change this one to be vid two, save changes. So these are our entry links now. And so what we would do is if we have our YouTube videos, we would put this one in the description of one. We would put this one in the description of the other. For our pay-per-click ads, if we're running a Bing ad, we might put this link in the Bing ad. If we're running an AdWords ad, we might put that link in that ad. And all of these links point to that same opt-in page because we cloned it. So now we've got all of our entry links set up. We've got our primary entry link set up, which is going to collect all of our stats. Now all we need to do is create some email tracking links. To do that, we're going to go back up to the primary group that we have here. And I'm just going to create a new link. I'm going to call it ASW for Antarctic Snow Water Email 1. And I'm going to send it to our sales video page, antarcticsnowwater.com slash sales video. Going to create the link. There's our first one. I'm going to create another link. The second email, I'm going to call it asw-email2. I'm going to send this to antarcticsnowwater.com sales vid as well. I'm going to create it. And now we have our two emails, and you can create as many emails as you want. To simplify things, you could use the clone link since they're all going back to the same page here. All the emails in this example are going back to our sales video page. And again, the key is the link must have the word email in it someplace. It doesn't need to be at the beginning or at the end. I've got it right here in the middle for it to work correctly. So now what we have is our funnel set up, and you can tell that because of the funnel icon, we have the total stats link with the entry link setting. We have our email link set up. We have, if we go into the subgroup, we have our ads set up. We have our links for our ads, our links for our videos. Now we have everything set up. We've got the entry link set up. We've got our email links set up. Now if you had an upsell, you would just add that link into the group as well. Now we're set up. So now let's go ahead and let me show you how this works. Let's suppose that you have a series of YouTube videos and you have video one and video two. And let's suppose that your visitor is watching video two and they click the link in your description. So they click this tracking link. So let's go ahead and copy this tracking link and let's paste it in a new window here. So we'll go ahead and paste it. I'll hit enter. And now from the description of that video, they go to your opt-in page. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my email address here, steve at bestcoolproducts.com. Going to click the buy button. And now we're on the sales video page. I'm going, going to go ahead and pause this here. Now this should have fired an action pixel. If we go back to our diagram, we'll see that the sales video page has an action pixel. The checkout page has an engagement pixel and the confirmation page has a sales pixel with an amount of $17. So we just fired the action pixel by going to our sales video page. So let's go ahead and click the add to cart button. Now we're on the checkout page and with this page we should have fired an engagement pixel. Now this is just in test mode so I'm not going to enter my credit card information here. 
but I'm going to go ahead and click the Pay Now button, which should take us to the confirmation page. Now, this should have fired a sales pixel for $17. So now that we've done that, let's go back and take a look at our stats in ClickMagic. Okay, let me go ahead and refresh the stats. And you can see here that for video two, we have one total click, one unique click, one action from when we landed on the sales video page. We have one engagement from when we landed on the checkout page. And we have one sale from when we landed on the sales page. And you can see that that sale registered $17. Now that is because we came in through this link. Now our totals, if we go back up to the original group, our totals will show up in the primary entry link. Now this entry link will include the stats of all the tracking links in this funnel, including the email links, and any of the upsells or downsells you might have, and it will also include all the entry links. It will include all of these stats combined. So that's how this works, and by the way, this only works with tracking pixels. It does not work with postback URLs, so it's important to remember that. But now you have everything here. You've got your entry links set up, you've got your email links set up, you've got your funnels set up, all the pixels are firing properly, you're good to go. So if you have any...